Hey everyone, welcome, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Um, tuned in to another What Now episode. I know it's been a while, um, it's been a hectic week. I celebrated a birthday yesterday and I had a hectic birthday weekend, so I actually am half an hour late. We had to move this uh, talk up to um, 9.30 for me. It's usually at nine o'clock, 12 uh, Pacific and three Eastern. But um, I had to move it to 30 minutes because I've been running around for my birthday and um, we've been socializing again. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope everyone is doing okay. I hope you're healthy and safe. Uh, today, my guest will be singer Doomy from um, Salt Lake City, Utah. So, oh, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, yesterday was my actual birthday. And, uh, you know, we're just celebrating a whole weekend and I did not want to um, miss another episode of um, What Now because, you know, things go on. The show must go on. So I'm waiting for her to uh, get in here. And uh, in the meantime, I had a great birthday yesterday. Um, things are pretty much opening up over here, either with restrictions or a uh, limited amount of people. I was outside um, doing a whole bunch of activities with my friends. It's the first time I'm, I've celebrated my birthday over here. I'm usually traveling. Obviously with the Corona times, we are not able to travel. So I had a little get together with my friends and it was amazing. I had a really good time. I am tired because I had another barbecue today and uh, it's just been ripping and running. And now I'm ready for, um, the singer to come and enter the talk. So hopefully she'll be there. Let me check her out. Um, let me know where you're tuned in from, how your weekend has been going. Um, and um, while we wait, because I honestly, I have nothing else to uh, talk about. Um, let me just put this in here so you guys know who I'm going to talk to today. I appreciate you tuning in and um, hopefully she'll be here soon. I know we had the times mixed up a little bit because she's not on Pacific time, she is on uh, mountain time. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, this happens sometimes when you're international. I do know all the time zones, but I did not know about mountain time. I, I think this is the first time I'm talking to somebody from Utah. Uh, I don't think I've been to Utah. I've been to about 30 states, but not not Utah. Um, so maybe I'll have a reason to go to Utah. Um, let's hope she will tune in uh, at any point soon because I am running out of uh, monologue material. Again, if you are tuned in right now, please let me know how you're doing, where you're from, and um, yeah, let's, let's have a chat before she gets in here. Um, hopefully we didn't get the time mixed up this time. Um, Tuning from, oh, Maryland, cool. I've actually been to Maryland and I have a couple of friends there. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I think the last time I was there was 2000 and I wanna say 14. Um, yeah, I had a good friend living in Maryland as well. Oh, that's great. How how were the, how's the situation over there um, with the protests and stuff? Is it is it dangerous to go outside? Uh, let me know how Maryland is doing. Illa Dope, what's up? Thanks for joining. Um, let me know how you're doing, if everything is safe and healthy. How's Corona doing over there? Because over here, we pretty much flattened the curve. And um, that's why we were able to go outside uh, much more. And plus, it's summertime, so the weather is great. I might go to the beach next week because it's going to be really hot. Because I'm not going to any beaches in the tropics anytime soon, obviously. Uh, Rita G, thanks for joining. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I saw them yesterday. I appreciate it. And um, it's good to see everybody is doing well on this Sunday evening over here. I guess it's Sunday afternoon over there. Um, I am waiting for Doomy to get in. It's not dangerous. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Well, I'm happy that it's not dangerous out there. I've been talking to uh, one of my friends in, in Washington and um, he's telling me the same thing. He's been in Washington pretty much all his life, I think. So I'm happy that everything's peaceful. Over here, it's the same thing. It's peaceful protest, but I'm not sure when the the holiday, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the holiday uh, with Black Pete, the blackface. So 
once that starts, it might be some riots out here. So, um, yeah, let's wait. She says she's coming. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Um, I really don't know how to pronounce your name. Do Woo Keys, I guess. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure everybody's healthy and safe and, um, you know, stay true to yourself during these times. Make sure you're mentally healthy. Um, you play at the National Cathedral. Oh, wow. I've heard the White House was pretty much fenced up now. Um, it's so sad, but oh, well. Oh, there she goes. Yay. Let's get her in here. I appreciate you. Um letting me know about the situation over there so yeah stay safe out there and, and thanks for tuning in if you have any questions for doing me hey Hi. girl what's up how are you i'm good i'm so sorry about the time man no it's okay <laughs> i was it's like you know what? i was just i was just t telling that to the people that were tuned in already like I thought you were on Pacific time and I've never heard of mountain time before because I never spoke to somebody from, from Utah before. Yes. So yes, we are Denver time. That's so crazy. I just, and, and I never really, I never really looked into that. I just assumed, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, probably because I know you, um through people in LA so I always thought yeah. you were LA and then I thought you were on LA time so yeah yes but it's... thank you so much for having me here it's oh fun. yeah now first of all congratulations on your release thank you it's it right is, here it's me. amazing I saw it you did a great <laughs> you did a great job with you know your background and stuff that's awesome thank you yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying your sounds. Yeah, like you I've already told you your your voice is really really amazing and it it really captures the feeling that you put into your music. So, yeah. Yes. Thank you. How long have you been singing? So, um singing professionally since 2017, but Okay. Uh, I've been, you know, I've been surrounded by music my whole life because my, my family is kind of a musical family. We would have jam session on Sundays, you know, when I was still in Madagascar. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's what I really wanted to get into because, you know, people that, um, that know the whole What Now series is based on the situation in the world, the pandemic. Um, <laughs> Like, hey, what do we have to do now as creatives? But it also gives me a platform to um, talk about people who inspire me with their journey or with what they've been through or their careers. And so one of the things that I really was drawn to with you, aside from your music, is the mm -hmm. fact that you are from Madagascar. Um, <laughs> I mean, not necessarily that you're from a different country, but I've never met anyone from Madagascar. And for you to end up in Utah, for me, it was like, okay, I have to talk to this girl. <laughs> so how old were you when you moved to the States? So I was 18, 18 years old. Okay, yeah. so that's not that long ago, because you no. look like you're still 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was 18. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with you know, the LDS church, the Mormon church. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my parents are Mormon. So that's how I ended up here. Right. Okay. Yeah. So now. they call it the Mormon state. They do because I did do an interview with um, a model and uh -huh. he, he comes from a Mormon family. Um, yeah. His name is Lucky Blue. Okay. And yeah, he's like really huge, but he's, you know, he was in a band too with his, I think his brothers and, but he came from Utah. So <laughs> yeah, it's, um, you know, it can be difficult. <laughs> yeah. What, I mean, what, is, what for you was the most difficult part of having to move into a whole different country with a different culture? Uh, well, trust me, it was de definitely a culture shock um, coming from a very, kind of traditional, you know, way of living and then coming to a way developed country. Right, right, <laughs> so, right, right. 
um, it's it was it was uh, difficult, but at the same time, you know, um, I was more open to learning new culture and kind of I just kind of dived into it and right and started you know just even the way I speak like because I didn't know English like I knew English we learned English in Madagascar at school but it's like right English you know and uh when I moved here I actually at the airport I didn't buy anything at all in New York because I didn't know what to say <laughs> right <Aww. laughs> yeah so anyway so you know cu culture language you know food <laughs> yeah um, music yeah um yeah everything. everything is different but I love it you know even the way and everything then that I did was basically was kind of like not imitating but kind of like copying a little bit because right. I wanted to you know that feeling of wanting to be part of something you wanted to blend in but yeah. also yeah blend in <laughs> that's the word yeah yeah <laughs> but but so for you you know it's a big culture shock going from Madagascar to the United States but then also Utah I mean <laughs> within the we you have to understand within the United States are different cultures as well yeah. um so that's that's a whole different type of adapting as well. Mm -hmm, definitely, it was Utah is def definitely different compared <laughs> to. Yeah, I I have lived in Rhode Island, you know. Just I've gone to other states, and Utah is really different. Yeah, More conservative for sure. I was just thinking, I've yeah. been to about thirty states. But I, I don't think I've been to Utah before. It's not on my on my. Not in your fist. <laughs> yeah, but I do want to go to Salt Lake City. I flew over it a couple times, and then I see literally the Salt Lakes, or you know Salt Lake, and then I'm like, oh, I have to go there. I, I only flew over it, but um. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, now I know somebody over there, so if I come visit, then I'll definitely hit you up. Yes. <laughs> Um, so going more into um, the you settling in to the United States, uh -huh. what made you um, decide to go with professional professionally with your music? Uh, it's actually it's a good question. So I've always wanted to share my music, but my I guess my platform didn't really allow me to do that. Right. You know? um, so I started just kind of finding ways to grow my platform, like, you know, on social media. The main reason why I really wanted to share my music is, first of all, I'm away from home. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of share my color, you know, like, because, you know, your culture, the background, everything is felt in your music, in the music that yeah. you Yeah, I feel okay. it yeah. in your, in your you. EP. I really do. Yeah, so I wanted to share my, my culture at the same time and kind of also just sharing. It's just basically sharing, you know, sharing. Well, it's expressing. It's expressing. Express you it's, yeah it's, it's, Your art yeah it's definitely expression. a way to express myself in different ways yeah, yeah. that's so. what most artists do they they yeah. use their art as a way to express how they feel definitely. or how they're you know what their emotions are and who they mm -hmm. are so i think you definitely captured that on butterfly um especially yeah. having songs in your native language um Malagas, guess you do I say that right? Malagas, yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> Malagas, yeah. So that to me, even though I don't understand the language, I understand the emotion that's put in it. Um, I listen to Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I, I listen to Spanish music. I don't understand Spanish. I listen to French music. I don't mm -hmm. understand French music. Music is mm -hmm. a universal language. So, right. for you, when you first um, posted a snippet of of your of the song in your native tongue it was for me when i saw that i was just blown away because it's also very daring and risky 
to put a, a song in a completely different language than people are used to on your, your first EP. Yes. Yes, I was actually a little bit skeptical to put some songs, even like when I perform them, because I do perform yeah. songs in my language. And I just basically want people to relate to my emotion more than the words, because yeah. obviously they don't know, you know, what I say. But uh, before I sing, you know, before I, I share it, I kind of describe what it means and so that people kind of get into the feeling, the vibe. Right. <laughs> yeah. But also music mm -hmm. is open for interpretation. Um, mm -hmm. Even if you sing about something, some, it can apply for somebody else to something in their life that's not necessarily exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel that, that songs in different languages will definitely keep that, that option open because like I said, I don't understand what the song is about, but I feel it. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm playing it. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm probably could sing along in a few months, but I don't know what I'm singing, you know? <laughs> yeah. I listen to it, and then I'm singing yes. along because I hear the words, but then I don't know what I'm singing. <laughs> so I may have to throw it through uh, Google Translate. Yes. Um, that'll be funny. Oh, so gosh. what what made you eventually decide to put it on your EP despite it not being English? Uh You asked really good questions. <laughs> so. yeah. I'm prepping you for, for all the other interviews when you blow up. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, again, um, to represent, you know, again, my color, you know, yeah. my, my, my culture. And also, I wanted to kind of, because now I'm in, I'm in the States, you know, but I still want people back home to yeah. know that I still, I'm still Malagasy, you know, right. I still care about my culture and I want people here to understand where I'm from. Right. You know I mean? And kind of. Yeah, because they don't know. They will probably let, lump you into either Hispanic or Asian. Yes, a lot of half people black, half white. <laughs> I think But yes. not what you actually are. So that's a really good <laughs> statement that you make on yeah, your so on your EP. Make a statement. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly what it is. How is how was the response in your homeland to the to the EP? Um, pretty good, actually. Yes. Um, so as I was saying, you know, people there are very traditional, and mm -hmm. most most people are mostly on either YouTube or Facebook, right. which is like ancient stuff. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, but it's still useful, you know. Don't get me wrong. Um, but. Yeah. It's less people go on Instagram, less people go on Spotify, Deezer, you know, all of the other yeah. platforms. So kind of um, exposing that to them, it's kind of like introducing a new thing. Like, oh, a more modern yeah. way. Yes, you yeah. know, like everything is just digital. And everything. Yeah. My dad is like, can I have a copy of your... <laughs> <laughs> like a physical product, huh? Yes, yes, which is definitely doable and it's still useful now, right. Not right now, but um, so that that was kind of like one of the how do you say that? I can't, I can't think, kind of uh, it's okay. The, <laughs> the negative side of it is, you know, it's. I'm I'm kind of like introducing a new thing, like oh okay, here is my the link to my album, right? You know, my EP. Oh, can you go check it out? So I have to kind of like put in more efforts and say, oh, it's available here, 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 right? Here. And then you have to teach you know? them where what that right. is, yeah. Right, but it's been it's been good, you know. I mean, I have a Facebook page; it's got twelve thousand followers. Oh wow! Which is like, yeah, people back home are mostly on there so that's why like i kind of wanted to keep that with yeah with instagram and twitter and all of that so well that's great i'm just happy yeah. that um that your uh, your homeland appreciates your music because they can also mm -hmm. see that you're representing your own culture on your yeah. your ep so i think even though they may not be familiar with the modern uh, technology and, and digital technology to listen to it once they hear the songs i can't even imagine them not supporting that 
<laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yes. So going into going into your um, you know your your DNA, so to speak, uh, we had this <laughs> this conversation a little bit yes. um, on Instagram when you posted um, things that I I could definitely relate to mm -hmm. as to people assuming that you are something based on how they think you look, but you're mm -hmm. not. And when you mm -hmm. when you kind of defend yourself. It's like, why do I have to defend myself on what I am? It's not that I don't want to be that way I think I am, but yeah. I'm just not that. I have it yes. all the time. And now it's even more blown up because of, you know, the protests and the Black Lives Matter. Um, because, know. you know, you, you are a Black woman. You yes. are from Madagascar, which is uh -huh. part of the African con uh, continent. So yep. it, it's... How how has that especially been for you during these past few weeks? That's a really good question. <laughs> Again, another one. So it's, you know, I'm kind of, since I've been here, I'm kind of getting used to the fact that people call me, which I sh maybe I guess I shouldn't, but I feel like I, I just have to. Mm -hmm. When people call me, all Chinese or Asian or blah blah blah, you know, because I look it, you know, I yeah. cannot deny that. And well, so, your hair doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that look at the hair, that's not Chinese hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, so thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah, so but uh, you know, uh, as far as emotions go, I I am very, like, I'm still emotional because, again, I'm not, you know, I don't have that dark skin that people call black. You know? Right. I don't have the, I don't necessarily have all the features. Right. Or, but I feel, I feel black, you know? Yeah. I mean? And. Because you are black right so i you just don't look like, it you know, even the, the, the way the what i mean by i feel is because people don't necessarily call me black you know right I mean, when they so only like my close friends they know you know how i feel and where i'm from and all of that but um i don't know, I feel i guess i feel a lot at this point because a lot has been going on and especially because i'm a you know, I, I work at the hospital. Yeah. And I do help a lot of um, Caucasian people. Yeah. And just during this whole um, everything, it, it's just hard for me sometimes to, you know, see everything that's going on on the meet in the media, like mm -hmm. social media, and then helping people at the same time at work. That's yeah. been the hard part for me. Like, oh, but some of you are killing my people, but I'm here yeah. happy, you know. But, you know, again, it's uh, a lot of emotional and just sometimes can be physical as well. Really? Just, yeah, just tired. But anyways... So. Yeah. It's just for me it's I want to understand I, I want people to understand mm -hmm. that yes we're going through this shift in the world where people are trying not to be judged by the mm -hmm. color of their skin mm -hmm. when you are being just as much judged by the color of your skin mm -hmm. assuming that you're something that you're not and that's the right. opposite of you know, oh, you see a black person and people mm -hmm. instantly think, oh, that's a black person. But I'll add something. After we that. all, yeah. right. Yeah. And we all come in different form and, forms and shapes. And right. um, I'm, I'm a mixed person myself, mm -hmm. but I'm not black. I identify mostly with Asian mm -hmm. and because that's most of my DNA. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also Pacific Islander and European. So I'll I've had the same 
I've had the same yes. <laughs> uh, assumptions mm -hmm. um, made about me. And when I'm in the United States, they don't see me as Asian because I don't have the Asian features. Mm -hmm. I don't look I Asian, but I'm mostly Asian, just like Asian. you don't have the black features, but you're black. So yeah. it's a whole different situation to have to deal with when you don't look the the race that you are, I guess. Oh, it's freezing. Is that me or is that, can people still see me or is it do me? I see people coming in. Able to hear me, oh, there we lost her. Yeah, that must have been her her connection will let's hope she'll come back in so we can um thank you so we can continue this conversation i could tell that it was uh okay thank you guys hey noah hey alvin yeah i, I could tell that it was it was hard for her to really talk about how she feels and i i've had a little bit of this conversation with her um before this talk and it's something that I could definitely relate to because, you know, people judge you by what they think you are, but they don't really know it. I mean, I have it. I live in in I, I live in, um, in in White Holland, and people don't think I can be Dutch. So, um, oh, um, the Wookies, I I learned of her through a mutual um, friend in the music industry. So then I started listening to her. Hi. I'm sorry, my phone is having some weird stuff. I don't know. That's what's okay. Going on with it. Sorry. No worries. I was just talking, telling people that, you know, um, that it's hard to be judged by people when they assume they know who, what you are instead of just asking, mm -hmm. um, which is which is just as as bad as well it's it's bad in general people should never assume when i was saying i live in in the netherlands which is considered a, a white country so i can't be dutch but i was born here i was raised here i am dutch dutch does not equal a mm -hmm. race dutch is a nationality we have black people brown people yellow people purple green red we have them all and they can be just as dutch as the blonde haired mm -hmm. blue-eyed person um so yeah I totally it's, get that. Uh, but Dutch is not a race, yeah. And that is that is something that is, yeah. is, is being harder and harder every day with the situation in the world, having to explain yourself, defend yourself. It's tiring. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I think... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 go ahead. What do you think? <laughs> So, you know, just the fact that there is a lot of put this colorism, even between people of color, having to explain yourself like, oh, oh but I'm this. Yeah. Oh, but I hate the fact that I have to explain myself like, oh, I am part yeah. of you too. I am part of your people, you know, and yeah. I feel like I'm always in the middle. But the thing is, I don't have to prove anything to, no. to anyone honestly I really don't so and that's the point where I'm at right now because I did I had <laughs> um I had African-American friends tell me that mm -hmm. I don't know anything because I'm not black and I don't live in America when I have an entire <laughs> slavery co colonialized history being in the Netherlands coming my parents coming from Indonesia um we're actually having mm -hmm. massive protests yeah. out here wanting to change the history books over here because it's all based on the dutch riches which they gained throughout the centuries by robbing my homeland my parents homeland from the riches um uh, committing genocide um you know just all kinds of atrocities and and they are not mentioned. It's just, oh, we're rich. We're the Dutch. We're, we were the biggest industry in the 1700s. And we became rich. And the whole world knew us for our, 
our maritime business and i'm just <laughs> sitting here like and they call it in the history books they call it the golden uh -huh. age it was not a golden age for my people so that's and that is something that i think should mm -hmm. bond and unite people of color are mutual histories of being colonized yeah. <laughs> and, and people don't understand. Indonesia didn't become independent uh, until 1947. So it's, yeah, if you don't know the history, then don't tell me I don't know how it is because in the end, we should all stick together because we're all being oppressed by the same people. Kind of crazy. Yeah, how yeah no, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and we have to teach ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> so yep. yeah, for the people that just joined That's us, exactly. um, Dumi is a wonderful, talented singer from Madagascar. She lives in Utah right now. So I strongly encourage everyone to uh, listen to her uh, new EP that got released on Thursday, June 18th. It's called Butterfly. And she also has songs in her native tongue on there which translate the emotions of her journey as well. And I absolutely am yes. in love with her voice. So for everybody that tuned in, please um, check out her, her latest uh, butterfly. And I will be learning the, uh, the songs. I'm going to try and see if I can sing along. Um, <laughs> yes, P, Madagascar in the building. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thank so you. can you tell us a little bit about the process of the of the EP? Process. Um, so how long did it take you? How long did that take? Okay, so pro approximately maybe six to six. So it was kind of, I'm not okay, but good, you know, like, so that, yeah release it um i basically have a lot of songs that i made but i focused on those and just kind of finding that sound and that sound with the perfect matching the perfect uh delivery of emotion so that was it was kind of right. hard for me to, it was also a journey to kind of help people relate to my music. And so, yeah. you know, just make, like I was, I guess in my other, in my other interview, I'm not interview, but I had a live video for my release. So I kind of explained how, you know, when I, yeah. When I have some melody in my head, even at work, I would record myself. And when I get home, then it will just record that. So a process. And sometimes, you know, I really didn't feel like recording at all. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, I, I'm a... I'm a full-time student, full-time, you know, worker and <laughs> and music. Uh, but yeah, just, I'm a perfectionist, so creating it and releasing it was also a process and just you know creating the the for it I wanted it to be catchy you know so that people can are are feeling like they're welcome you know and they have to check of, it yeah did you have did you have um, producers like but set was, producers that you worked with or it was a fun process the, losses for sure i think in a month we song basically so so for each month that would be one song 
and I just I just wanted it to sound good before I moved on to the next one. So yeah. Yes. I'm losing yeah, so you. So I have a uh, my main producer right now. Is that? And uh, your yeah, connection is a little bit wobbly. I also that's then because I'm a I'm a first. I call I like to call. Okay, so the First connection time. is, is so, you keep breaking up, so I'm not hearing just, everything you're saying. You know, I, I just go with how I feel, basically. And so that everybody can, can, can you hear can me? relate to me, to, to my music, instead of, instead of just a certain group of people. Okay, so her connection keeps messing up, unfortunately. Um, let's hope we can get this one more time. If it keeps going like that, I may have to just cut it short. If you do have um, questions, please put it in the question box so I can ask her. Okay, waiting for her to come back. Thanks everyone for sticking with us. <laughs> hey, I'm your sorry. connection kept breaking up. Yeah, it's just okay. I can't hear you. What's going on with your connection? <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay. No, because you keep cutting in and out, so I don't hear half of the things that you were saying. I don't know. <laughs> it was fine earlier. Yeah. So I, the last thing I heard was that you're working with a, a producer and uh, mm -hmm. one of the uh, people that are watching are also asking who was the producer that you uh, worked with. Um, let's see if this connection stays good. So, Did you hear? Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, his name... Yeah. Okay, cool. So can you hear me okay now? Um, I, I can now, but I hope it stays stays good. Um, I'm sorry. That's okay. So this is the this is the one producer that worked with you on this particular EP butterfly, right? Right, correct. Okay, and so how did so, you guys meet? Uh so he's actually my boyfriend. Oh, that's great. Uh, that's a yes. good collaboration yeah. then. You yes. did an excellent job with, with your sound. Because <laughs> what I understand is that you hear the melodies, you record yourself, mm -hmm. and then you go into the studio with him mm -hmm. to um, make it a song, yeah. transform it into right. a song. So he captures your sound really well because he obviously also knows you. Um, yes. I have to say, Satisfaction and uh, Butterfly remind me a little bit of those 50s, 60s songs. Mm -hmm. And is that, is, am I correct? Is this something that you were trying to put in there um, or? Sort of, and but not necessarily at the same time. So right. it's, it's modern. Oh, it's, yeah. It, right. So I just like the sound of music that kind of like soul more. Yeah, that nostalgic yeah. soul. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it does give me that. The first time I heard Butterfly, it instantly gave me that feeling. But again, like I said, it's it's modernized to your own sound and especially with your your voice, it fits perfectly. That sound fits your voice perfectly. So I think you did an excellent yeah. job on um, on capturing that with uh, your producer. Thank you. Yeah, so I, you know, as I was saying, um, I'm not really targeting a specific group of people. Right. So 
that's why I have hype. You know, hype is a little kind of crazy. And that's the crazy part of me. And I also have Mila now. I have coffee break. Yeah. You yeah. know, kind of all different. Different types different of vibe. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are your what are your expectations from this EP now that we're still in lockdown because you can't really perform? What what are you looking to do with the EP now? Uh so I wanna I want it to be heard as much as possible. Um now that everything is kind of mostly digital, I, I feel like it, it can it has some potential. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so um I actually so here in Utah we're not really on lockdown. <laughs> So, okay. Yeah, so I had uh I actually just performed two days ago. Oh and cool. Two, yes, two of my How songs. was that? It was great. It was uh it was one of it was the first time I, I performed Left or Right, which is one of my songs in yeah. the EP. So it was it was awesome. It was great. And it was a way for me to to kind of share my project. Right. And, yeah, for people to actually hear it for the first time. And uh, so I hope that people just keep streaming. I'm trying to build as much connections as I can. Um, but also putting more work. I have, you know, more stuff coming, of course. So, yeah, I was so. going to ask you. Because, you know, you of course, the EP is just now, is just now released. And... Hopefully you'll be able to tour with the EP as well. But right. I know artists never sit still because once the, the the EP dies down a little bit, you're gonna have to come mm -hmm. with some new stuff again. Are there people right. that you want to work with for your? Or, 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 do you have like a bucket list? Like who would you want to have on your next album as producer or maybe a featured artist? Yes. Yeah. So I have a friend of mine as well. He's he's really good. He's one of the best producers here in Utah as well. His name is that boy Jimmy. And I want him part of my next project. Um, I'm also open to, um, you know, more producers to send me, you know. Right. Just any, you know, what's there to be offered. And I kind of want to work, right. be more, again, uh, as a versatile artist, I'm open to anything and just, I want to expand yeah. my music and, um, and your network. Yeah. Right. My network. And, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have some featuring, um, with, I, I'm, I'm not going to say who yet. Right. So that's I'll, okay. I'll, I'll yes. But, uh, definitely. And I, I'm still hoping to, you know, obviously have say in my project yeah. because he kind of makes he makes like my music because he can relate to he knows you how yeah. i feel more yeah exactly so well there are a couple anyway. producers in here so um if if you're uh, interested in working with do me please check mm -hmm. out her sound so you have an idea of Definitely what fits her and how her voice is because her voice is so in my opinion very unique and and deserves its own sound so if there are people that want to work with her i would i yeah i would love to see those collaborations um come about thanks Faye. Yeah. so Thank um i'm gonna uh round it up a little bit um okay we got to know a lot about you your journey how your music has has come to fruition um do you Sorry have some um a life motto or some advice for people on how you're dealing with you know the situation now or what what is what is something positive that you live by every day something positive hmm. so i am the type of person that never gives up and i i think that was the best advice that's been given to me was to Get up every day and just do your best and just, you know, just work hard, have a goal, 
and do little by little, I guess, goes a long ways. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Celebrate so, the little wins. Yeah, it's something I always say. Celebrate the yeah. accomplishments for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Because you have yeah. a goal. Having a goal is definitely mm -hmm. good advice because if you don't have a goal, you're just doing something. But what people often yeah. forget when they have a goal is they're only set on, I'm not there yet. I'm not there. But you have to see it, right. how close you are getting. So celebrate mm -hmm. the little wins is, is, is something right. that I had to apply in my life as well. And it, it helps. You know, if you do something yeah. every day to get closer to your goal, that's a win. Right. Because definitely there is, you know, obviously always distractions and more, part of that distraction would be kind of us wanting to give up sometimes we as it, you know as especially as women yeah tend to yeah. compare ourselves to other people yes. and kind of like measure ourselves yeah kind of like oh i'm not there i'm not like them or and that, especially for us women, I think it's really, really, really important to have a goal yeah. and to focus on it and then make it, um, how do you say that? Accustomed to, to your to you, journey. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of comparing to other people. Well, it happens, you know, but again, You're you. the goal. The, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, great. You always awesome. have no, thank you so much for wanting to do this. And again, I'm so sorry about the time mix up. No, um, it's okay. Thank you so, so much for having me here. Yeah. And, really and obviously, you know, I'll be spreading your music. I've been playing it. It's put in my playlist and my, my <laughs> like songs. And um, I'm, I'm absolutely a big fan of you. And I'm looking forward to building more with you as, you know, um, people, women in the industry, but also as friends and, you know, dealing with the same type of, of issues nowadays. Um, and we have to support each other, especially as women. Uh, you're right. And so definitely. I'm definitely your number one fan over here. And we're going to get you out here <laughs> or at some point or work or, or I, I'll get you in the studio out here. Um, and yeah. that means a lot. That means a no, lot. It'll Thank happen. you so much. It'll happen. Yes. Speak it into existence. That's how I live. I speak <laughs> things go. into existence. Always uh, think positive and think that you can because else you can't. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. So again, thank you so much. I'm happy that things are going well with you, that the EP is out. Everyone tuning in, thank you so much. You. If you have any Thanks. questions, please Thanks, check her everybody. out on Instagram, do me and, and do us a favor. <clears throat> Just stream the music, spread the love, spread the music and the support. I have, and, I have, I have hmm. yeah, so I have huh? a music video. I have a music video coming next week of one of my songs oh, from cool. my EP called Ameza. Oh, so you guys wait. should go out. Yeah, check out that song Ameza. Video is coming out soon. Yes. So thank you so Amazing. much. Thank you. Yes. And stay safe out there. You and too. Keep putting out music. And, and we'll definitely yes. be talking. Uh, if you need me, yes. you know where to find me. And everyone else, yes. thanks for tuning in again. Um, Thank I'll be back yes. on Wednesday with another uh, female artist called Shauna. I'm not sure if people are familiar with her. She used to be a rapper uh, signed to Ludacris's DTP um oh. label so well a totally different genre but we have to support each other so i'll be talking to her thank you again do me love and um thank love, you love you so much and love we'll talk you too soon. all right thank bye you. bye